I'm pretty sure that you heard it many times. Elephant rifle is a bad weapon. Well, I strongly disagree. I've tested and studied this weapon and now can tell you for sure. It's not a bad weapon. Elephant rifle is not a weapon at all. It's a cosmetics. Elephant rifle costs $580 and in these tests I'm using weapon with all the upgrades like iron sight and stuff like that, but spoiler, don't buy them, it's probably just a waste of money, later you will understand why. Before we begin our testing there is something I want to mention. I said that elephant rifle is not a weapon but a cosmetics, not because it's useless in pretty much all situations, but because its mechanics are extremely unusual and not similar to any other weapon in the game. And I'm not even talking about the first feature that you absolutely have to know. If you're shooting when crouching, you gonna fall down. It's super funny and actually that's one of the reasons why I consider this weapon a cosmetics. But let's start making some real tests. Reload and fire rate first. 1.2 seconds between shots and we're ready to make our third shots in 3.9 seconds after making the first shot. Let's compare it to double barrel shotgun. 0.56 seconds between shots and 2.4 seconds from the first shot to the point when we can make our third shot. We are testing the maximum fire rate here, not waiting for the bloom to disappear, because in most cases we're gonna use painted black anyways. And as you can see, even under these conditions, elephant rifle is a pretty slow weapon. And reloading it takes ages. Of course, when I'm gonna finish leveling it up, reload is gonna be 5% faster, but still. Usually in my weapon guides I'm also testing reticle bloom and compare it to the other weapons, but there is no use in this test for elephant rifle, because even when the reticle look small, you still gonna miss way too many shots. So I don't recommend you to use it without painted black and painted black grants us perfect accuracy. But there's one thing that I have to mention. If you move in while aiming with an elephant rifle, reticle becomes much bigger. It's true for most weapons in the game, but it affects elephant rifle much stronger. So on practice, while you're strafing, if you're not using painted black, it's kinda hard to hit anyone even from the closer distances. Actually from all my tests and experience in pvp i can tell you for sure if you want to hit someone with this weapon stay still now let's test damage and effective range we're gonna compare the damage to the carcano rifle regular ammo none of us is using any ability cuts at the moment i have maximum overweight and of course after each test weapons are getting clean and that's how much damage carcano rifle is dealing to me let's compare it with the elephant rifle on the same distance you see the damage and it's pretty impressive. It's much more than Carcano with the regular ammo. And it's even more than Carcano with an express ammo. Now let's find the exact lock on range for an elephant rifle and repeat the test one more time. By the way, the lock on range or auto aim range for an elephant rifle is the same as for the double barrel shotgun. We're making a shot and the result is pretty much the same. Now let's check the damage from an extremely close range. I see no difference and that's the first weird fact about the elephant rifle. You see all the firearm weapons has the range parameter and it affects the damage reduction over distance. It was broken a little bit in the last updates, but all the firearm weapons do more damage on the closer distance and less damage on the bigger distances with all ammo types. Scoped sniper rifles Carcano and Rolling Block are only exceptions, but elephant rifle deals exactly the same damage inside lock on range. But how about the damage from the bigger distances? Well, I have no answer to this question, because despite the fact that from the reticle it seems like you should land a shot from this distance, we were trying to do so and not a single shot landed. Placing a mark with a painted black from bigger distance is not an option too, because we've tested it and it seems like the range from which you can paint it black your target with elephant rifle is only about one step bigger than the lock on range for this weapon. You see I'm placing a mark but there is no auto aim yet. But he will get in the lock on range after making one more step. And having the same painted black range as the lock on range is also unusual for the weapons in this game. Take a look at the double barrel shotgun for example. It has the same lock on range as the elephant rifle but it can mark targets from much bigger distances. And that's another reason 
reason why Elephant Rifle is different from any other weapon in the game. But next we have even more surprising results. As you probably know, Painted Black grants us perfect accuracy, even without placing a mark. So we decided to use it on a distance a few steps bigger than the lock on range. Not a single shot landed again. But guess what? Making only a few steps and getting into lock on range and shots are landing perfectly. And at this point I thought, ok, maybe for this weapon Painted Black doesn't give the perfect accuracy. But it does, if you are inside of a range where you can place a mark on your target. But make few steps and you're not gonna hit ever. I mean, we've made many tests. Either it's impossible to hit your target from a distance that is greater than the painted black range, or the chances are extremely small, but I think it's just impossible. And this mechanic is another difference between elephant rifle and any other weapon in the game. I mean, it looks super weird, maybe it's even broken, I don't know. But let's make some practical damage tests inside of the lock on range. First test, how many shots it would take to kill a person with level 1 tonic. Two shots obviously. For level 2 tonic result is the same, but for level 3 tonic it takes 3 shots. But considering the reload time it takes too much time. If we're gonna use 2 damage ability card, lanterns, patience and peak conditions, we're still not gonna be able to one shot level 1 tonic, but we're definitely gonna one shot person without tonic at all. And now it's time for my favorite tests against the tank build. So my opponent is gonna use level 3 tonic, fortified health status and 4 defensive ability cards, slow and steady, iron lung, fool me once and sharp shooter. As you probably see now, it doesn't go well. And he's not even in a defensive mode. Anyway, it took 8 shots to kill a person in a tank build. Let's try it again. He's gonna have the tank build, but this time we gonna have the maximum damage build. With focus fire, winning streak, landance patience and peak condition. It looks pathetic. I mean, it's an elephant rifle. Developers, what are you doing? Anyway, it took 5 body shots. And we have another proof of the fact that tank build is way too strong. One more test before we continue with the practical experience. Headshots. From the maximum range it headshots a person with level 1 tonic, so anything works fine here. Time for practical impressions. First of all, hunting. It's not good. I mean, it ruins the pelts of the biggest animals, like alligators. Which is even more weird, elephant rifle doesn't want body shots with these big animals. Well, actually, here I shoot this alligator in the ass, but... Why not? Anyway, it's just not good for hunting, and it's also not any good for PvE, because you have only 20 bullets and your fire rate is extremely slow, so it's probably the worst weapon for PvE. But how about the legendary animals? Initially I thought that the elephant rifle is a weapon specially designed to hunt them. And yes, this might be a good choice for hunting legendary animals. By the way, here for some reason I've missed my shot, but I have a theory that Legendary animals are not taking damage in some situations. Anyway, it took two more shots to kill this animal. One pretty bad shot and one good shot. By the way, it's kinda easy to use this weapon when you ride in a horse, because you all the time have this small reticle. Anyway, if this weapon is good for anything in PvE, it's gonna be hunting legendary animals. I'm not quite sure whether it's the most effective choice, but it's kinda okay. PvP now. I've tested this weapon in 7 showdown matches, using it as a primary weapon. Of course, until I was running out of ammo. By the way, unlike Express and High Velocity ammo, you actually can buy Nitro Express ammo between the PvP showdown matches. I was playing with mouse and a keyboard and with auto aiming. And what can I tell you, it's an extremely fun weapon. Is it effective? Well, if you play not against the tryhards, then yes. I mean, if your opponents are not using level 3 tonics, you gonna melt them on a closer distances, and time to kill is extremely small, especially if you're using auto aiming. In most cases, even if you're gonna hit the leg, your opponent is gonna be critically wounded. Anyway, if you're playing against unexperienced players, it's a super fun and actually effective choice. I even came up with a build for it. You wanna use sniper rifle to cover longer distances, paired mausers or semi-automatic pistols, 
pistols to control middle range and elephant rifle to kill anyone you can reach. Of course as ability cards we have to use painted black and I suggest you to use Landon's patience and peak condition just to make sure that you gonna one shot in the most cases. On the other hand, if you're playing against experienced players who would use level 3 health tonic or at least gonna have some sort of a defensive build with level 2 or 1 health tonic, you're not gonna have a chance with this weapon. Plus, since you cannot crouch and you have to use painted black, it leaves you unprotected. I don't know about others, but I prefer to do it with protection. That's what she said! <laughs> Anyway, the conclusion. It's an extremely fun weapon that can be used in PvP. Not in a free roam PvP, but on some showdown maps. Actually, I found that in most activities Elephant Rifle is rather fun than effective. And actually that's why I like it and not regret buying it, despite the fact that it's not even a weapon in my opinion. Yeah, it's rather a cosmetic tool, designed to have fun and maybe role play. Also I like how this weapon sounds and how it feels to use it. Anyway, if you are a new player, I don't suggest you wasting money on the elephant rifle. But if you are a high level player and you have a lot of money, you just have to buy it. I mean it's a different new experience and I'm pretty sure that you got gonna have fun. After all we are playing the games to have fun, right? Anyway, let me know what do you think about this new weapon and whether you agree with my arguments. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, до свидания.